Yo, what is everyone, one and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool stretch freeze frame effect in Final Cut Pro 10. As you can see right here, this is what the final edit looks like right here. You have this really cool stretch freeze frame um, right here. It's definitely a really cool um, effect. I'm going to go over basically how to um, create that effect. So let's head over to the example right here. I'm going to go over basically how to create the effect. So I'm going to go to the second clip right here, go to the beginning of the second clip right here. I'm going to go ahead and create a freeze frame. Basically what I'm doing is I'm just freezing the first frame um, of the second clip right here. So let's go ahead and separate the freeze frame and the normal clip. And I'm going to go ahead and click on Control D and then 10 right here. Or actually I'll type in 15 um, right there. Basically what I just did was I set the duration of the freeze frame to 15. Um, frames right there so let's go ahead and copy the freeze frame um, right here and we'll go ahead and set this freeze frame uh, control D 10 frames right there so you have uh, two freeze frames one is 15 frames and then one is 10 frames um, right there so let's go ahead and play it right here and this is what it looks like right here and there you go you go ahead and transition into the next clip right here so what i want to go ahead and do is i'm going to go ahead just take out the retime option right here i'm going to go over here to masks right here i'm going to go ahead and apply a draw mask on do this one right here now you could have them together first and then split them but i just split them just to kind of make it a little bit easier and then i'll just make a a horrific really really bad mass selection right here just to kind of get the point of the video right here obviously if this is like a, a serious video and you're doing this for a client or something then you're definitely going to want to put a lot more time and effort but just for the sake of the video i'm just going to make a really quick um, mask um right there so that's pretty much what you're doing. You're just cutting out the freeze frame. It's basically just like any other freeze frame right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and press on Command C right here. And I'll go ahead and click on this right here and press on Shift Command V right here to just copy the draw mask right here. So you can see there's a draw mask on both of these clips right here. So I'll go ahead and just play the video right here. And then as you can see right here, you have a draw mask um cut out right there now what i want to do is i'm going to go ahead and select both of these clips and then hold down option right here and create a copy or duplicate of those two clips right here i'm going to go ahead and go to the bottom clip right here go to color board add a color board right here go ahead and turn up the exposure turn up the saturation and then change the color um, to whatever color you want and let's go ahead and then just copy this action then before you do that you want to go ahead and add a blur effect right here so we're just going to add a focus blur right there go ahead press on command c copy it and then shift command v right there and voila you have created or you've copied the glow effect to both of the videos um right there so as you can see right here we'll go ahead and play it right here and then voila you have a glow effect um right there now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and select the first half of the freeze frame. i'm going to go ahead and create a compound clip um right there this compound clip is incredibly um crucial now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead head over here to the effects panel and then i'm going to add a wave effect right here onto the clip right here and then I'm going to add a scrape effect um, right there now what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over here to the compound clip and then I'm going to head over to the inspector window right here and I'll go ahead and change the amount to 60 right here and then I'm going to go ahead and change um, the Y axis right here well, actually before I do that I'll change the rotation to 277 right there and then I'm going to change the Y to negative 5 right there I'm going to go ahead and place a keyframe on the amount and then on the center right here and then i'm going to go here and go to the end of the compound clip right here i'm going to go ahead and change um the center to three right here and change the amount to zero right there and voila you have pretty much um created this effect right here so I'll go ahead and play it right here kind of frame by frame so you can see right there 
this is what the effect looks like right there and then you have created the effect right here and then i kind of hold it held it for 10 frames just to kind of make it look a little bit cooler you need to have something on the end of the wave effect or else it's not gonna uh, work it's not gonna look the same let's go ahead and play it right here so you can see right there voila you have created this really cool stretch freeze frame now i think there's a better way to do this than like an after effects but this is the best way to do it in final cut pro 10 and as you can see right here, that is what the final edit looks like right here. Definitely think it's a really, really cool effect and you can use it in a lot of different circumstances. I personally like it and hopefully you also um, like the effect. Of course, like anything, it's a kind of a personal preference, but I'm honestly a really big fan um, of the effect right here. So let's go ahead and play it one more time. As you can see right here, here is the draw mask right here. And then you have the glow effect underneath these these are 10 frames right here and then you have another freeze frame the same thing here with a draw mask and then a glow outline but this one's 15 frames this one's 10 frames create a compound clip right here as you can see right here added a wave effect right here and then added a scrape effect keyframe the center and then keyframe the amount right here and just watch the amount and the scrape effect right here i'll go frame by frame and as you can see right there there you go. You have keyframe and create this really cool um, stretch freeze frame effect right here. I'll go ahead and play it one more time. And as you can see right here, this is what this really cool um, stretch freeze frame effect looks like right here. I'm definitely really, I definitely really like it. Again, hopefully you really like this effect too. Don't worry, it's completely free. It's all built, it's all used with built in effects in Final Cut Pro 10. So go ahead. Give it a try and see if you like this effect. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, the Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 160 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.